A great online store that looks good, is easy for customers to use, and is simple to manage, is crucial for the success of any business these days. I spent ages agonizing over which platform to use, and after I'd researched for ages, I came across Wix and Shopify as two of the most popular options. But where I'd hoped it would be pretty simple to choose between them, what I actually found after testing was that both platforms take very different approaches to building a great e-commerce site. There's far more to it than simply choosing the cheapest or whichever one has the best looking interface, especially when the very core of your business could hang on making the right choice of e-commerce platform. With that in mind, today I'm walking you through what Wix and Shopify do best, where they might fall short, and which one makes the most sense for the type of business you're trying to manage. So by the end of this video, you'll have a far better idea of which platform could be right for you. So let's dive straight in. So let me start off with a quick bit of background on these two options. Firstly, I was surprised to find that Shopify has been around since way back in 2006. Being originally founded by two guys who were trying to build a website for their snowboarding shop. They got so frustrated by the lack of good website building tools that they decided to create their own platform. Today, Shopify is one of the biggest names in e-commerce globally. It's an all-in-one platform designed to help you set up an online store and sell your products through social media, marketplaces like Amazon, or even in person with their built-in POS systems. As for Wix, they're a little more of a website building Swiss army knife. Where Shopify is primarily focused on building great online shops, Wix is popular for building all kinds of websites. It's beginner friendly and offers all the tools you need to create a professional looking website, even if you don't know a thing about coding. What really stuck out to me after having used it to create multiple websites is how easy and flexible it is. One day I can be using it to make a personal blog, the next a portfolio, then an online store. Plus Wix gives you plenty of templates and plugins to make your site exactly how you want it without typing a single line of code. Between both platforms, there's a lot of utility and great features to be found, and I've always had good experiences with each. So I'm the first to say that it's not easy deciding between the two, but let's dig a little deeper and see how they work. I've always found getting started with Shopify to be a pretty straightforward process. Once you create an account and get set up, you're taken to a dashboard that acts as your command center. It's here you add your products by filling out details like titles, descriptions, prices, and images, all really straightforward stuff. Shopify even lets you organize your products into collections, which is far more helpful for customers to browse than just one big endless list. And you're not stuck with a one size fits all look. If you want your site's appearance to reflect your branding, you can pick a theme from Shopify's library to adjust the design. Next, Shopify guides you through setting up your store's payment methods. As you might expect, the built-in Shopify payments is the easiest option, but you can also integrate third-party payment processors like PayPal or Stripe. I also found shipping methods pretty simple to set up as well. You just need to enter shipping zones and rates, Plus, if you're selling locally, then there's options for local delivery or pickup. And when I think I've got all of it to my liking, I can use Shopify's preview tool to check out how the store will look, and then I can go live with one click. Now, what I really like about Shopify is that you get loads of powerful tools for tracking all your day-to-day -day operations like inventory management and order tracking, and orders automatically appear in the dashboard so you can fulfill them directly from there without any fuss. There's even a mobile app so you can manage your store on the go. However, something which I did notice was that while the setup process is pretty smooth, some of the customizations require more advanced apps which might involve some extra cost and possibly a steeper learning curve, which could be a struggle for complete newbies in areas like SEO, for instance. That said, my experience with Shopify has still been great overall. Since everything is conveniently laid out, it's easy to get started with an e-commerce store without needing to learn anything technical. As for Wix, they offer a ton of flexibility right from the off. Once you sign up, you can either choose to make your site manually with a drag and drop editor or use Wix's ADI to create your site automatically based on a questionnaire. What I like is that 
even if you do opt for the manual editor, you still don't need to actually code or know any code or advanced design, as there's a library of pre-designed templates to choose from. And adding elements like text, images, and videos is as simple as dragging them onto the page, so everything is highly customizable. As for making an online store with Wix, you'll simply add a store module where you can manage your products just like with Shopify. Again, you simply input product details, upload images, set pricing, and you can even add variations like sizes and colors. Plus, payment setup is also pretty simple. You can just use Wix payments or connect third-party gateways. And again, like with Shopify, shipping has customizations allowing you to set zones, rates, and delivery options. But one feature of Wix that I think needs a big mention is how you get the ability to pivot seamlessly between desktop and mobile views while editing. So you can make sure your site looks great on any device. With how much customers are shifting from desktop to mobile these days, uh, this is becoming an essential feature. Plus, if you need more, then Wix also offers a useful app market where you can add functionalities like live chat, booking systems, or email marketing tools. However, speaking for myself, there's such an overwhelming amount of choice that option paralysis could easily set in. But the good thing is, if you're already somewhat familiar with e-commerce, you really can create a professional looking website with minimum effort. So if you decide you want to get started with Shopify or Wix and see what they're like for yourself, then you can check out our affiliate links in the description below. It won't cost you any extra and you'll get our discount, which isn't available through their websites. Okay, so if the differing features of Wix and Shopify haven't swayed you, then cost might be the deciding factor. So let's take a closer look at the plans and pricing of each. Starting with Shopify, they offer four subscriptions, the basic plan, the Shopify plan, the advanced plan, and the plus plan. We'll leave out the plus plan today, as that's really geared towards very large scale companies with big teams. The most popular option is Shopify's basic plan at around $30 a month. Here you'll get all the essential features like a complete e-commerce website, unlimited products, basic reports, and abandoned cart recovery. So even with their cheapest offering, Shopify does offer everything a small business needs. But for growing businesses, especially those looking to scale up in the near future, the Shopify plan is likely a better fit. It costs around $80 a month and brings enhanced reporting and up to five staff accounts. Or for anyone managing a bigger operation, you might want to consider their advanced plan which goes for just under $300 a month and provides advanced reporting, third-party calculated shipping rates, and up to 15 staff accounts, which should be enough for almost any medium-sized business. But how does Wix stack up? Again, there are four main plans to choose from. Starting with the most basic plan, the Lite plan, costs $17 a month and gets you a free domain, two collaborator accounts, and two gigabytes of cloud storage, which sounds a great value. However, you'll need to step up to the next tier to start selling. With their core plan for around $30 a month, you'll be able to accept payments and access tools like e-commerce support, vendor functionalities, along with five collaborator accounts. For those who feel they need elevated e-commerce features, they can check out their business plan at $36 a month, which also includes a standard marketing suite. But if you're looking for the best that Wix has to offer, then the business elite plan is the way to go. For around $160 a month, it'll give you advanced e-commerce tools like unlimited cloud storage and a developer platform. So, from my experience, Wix offers a lot more in terms of flexibility in designing your website because it's not solely focused on e-commerce. So it works great if you're handling multiple kinds of sites like blogs or portfolios. Though on the downside, you can't really support an online store on their cheapest plan, which is kind of reflected in the price. So I was slightly surprised how different Wix and Shopify's are from each other. And when I went to choose between them for my website projects, I really got a sense of just how big that difference is. Based on my experience, I found while both offer excellent tools for setting up an online store, 
they each have some unique elements and a few drawbacks which could make one stand out over the other. Starting with Shopify, even as a complete beginner, I found it super easy to dive in and use. The drag and drop editor is really well thought out and I found it made building my first site totally straightforward. Plus there are quite a few themes to choose from, over 100, with around 20 or so available to use for free. So there seems to be plenty of options for creating a professional looking site without having to touch a single line of code. That said, I did notice that some of the best themes tend to be the paid options, which I did expect, but it's still something to keep in mind. Shopify makes it easy to attract and engage your customers with their built-in marketing tools like customer segmentation, email campaigns, and SEO features. However, some features did have a bit of a learning curve, especially if you're not already familiar with digital marketing tools. But by far the thing that really stands out about Shopify is its checkout system. It's rock solid and reliable and really user friendly. I've never had issues with processing payments, plus the platform also supports a variety of payment options, whether you use Shopify payments or a third party gateway. Now jumping over to Wix, I've used it for creative projects before and I've always been blown away by the amount of flexibility it offers, whilst being really intuitive. Plus, its massive library of over 900 templates lets you create almost any type of website that you can think of. I once helped a friend design a site for his photography business on Wix, and the customization options, along with their AI tools, made it so easy to get the look that they wanted. But even with all this creative freedom, one thing I don't like, and it gets mentioned a lot online, is the lack of ability to export your site. Without this, if you ever decide to move to another platform, you'll have to start from scratch, which can be frustrating, not to mention time consuming, and maybe a serious consideration for those looking to grow a larger business. But what makes Wix such a great option for small businesses and artists, and it's the reason I love it, is all the great included tools and how eye-catching you can make your site. But when it comes to advanced e-commerce features, Shopify is ahead, so, if you're thinking about growing a large online store, you might feel Wix is a little restricted. Choosing between Shopify and Wix really comes down to what you prioritize in your website or online store. Shopify's extensive e-commerce tools and streamlined approach might make it the ideal option if you want a platform designed specifically for online businesses. On the other hand, Wix gives you a ton of creative freedom and versatility, making it a great choice for building all sorts of websites to support your online store. It's all about what works best for your goals and how you're looking to manage your business. So honestly, you can't really go wrong with either one. As a reminder, if you want to try Shopify or Wix for your e-commerce site, then you can check out the affiliate links in the description at no extra cost to get a discount that you won't find on their websites. I hope you found this video helpful and if you did, then please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more like this. Now, as always, I enjoy hearing your thoughts, so leave your questions or comments down below, and I'll try to get back to them as fast as I can. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.